Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to review and compare two of the sunscreens by Bioderma, which is the Photoderm Max Creme and the Photoderm Max Aqua Fluid. This review was requested by Broken Nurse, who is also my first friend here on YouTube. And if you are watching this, thank you so much. You are an amazing person. If you are confused to do all this controversies going around sunscreens and having way less protection than labeled, then Bioderma is one of the brands that you can actually trust. In a study conducted by Consumer Council of Hong Kong government, it was found that the Bioderma sunscreens actually had more protection than labeled. Bioderm Max Aqua Fluid, which I am talking about today, uh, is labeled as SPF 50 plus and a PPD 24, but the test actually showed that the Aqua Fluid had SPF rating of 87.2 and the uva rating of 67.3 amazing isn't it and the photoderm max cream is believed to be one of the best hardcore and high ppd sunscreens this has a ppd of 42 i've seen this mentioned quite a lot of times that the european sunscreens in even for the bioderma sunscreens that they do not mention the pa rating in their sunscreens but european sunscreens do not follow the pa method for uva rating they actually follow a numeric system for uva rating the most common one is the ppd rating i personally actually prefer the ppd ratings because with the pa rating you cannot calculate the percentage protection a sunscreen provides against uva but with ppd you can actually do that so as you can see the ppd rating of bioderma sunscreens is mentioned behind the box and the ppd of max aqua fluid is 24 and for photoderm max cream it is 42 it also mentions that ppd was calculated using the in vivo method so there are two methods to calculate spf as well as uvapf or ppd or pa ratings which is in vivo and in vitro the in vitro tests are done on a petri dish and the in vivo tests are performed on human skin so the safety and efficacy of the products can be evaluated better than in vitro tests and the bioderma sunscreens were tested in vivo so for those who are unfamiliar spf stands for sun protection factor which protects from uvb rays that can cause sunburn or tanning and PPD stands for Persistent Pigment Darkening which protects from UVA rays that can cause premature aging and skin cancer and PA rating stands for Protection Grade of UVA so both PPD and PA rating deal with UVA rays that can cause premature aging and skin cancer the reason I prefer the sunscreens with PPD rating in comparison to the sunscreens with PA rating is because unlike PA rating with PPD value, you can actually calculate the percentage protection a sunscreen provides against UVA rays. We cannot calculate the exact percentage protection on the basis of PA rating, but PA triple plus roughly translates to PPD of around 8 to 16 and PA four pluses means a PPD of 16 or higher. So the Bioderma sunscreens actually provide more protection than a lot of sunscreens present in the market. Both of these sunscreens contain four UV filters, namely Tanosop S, Tanosop M, octicryoline and everbenzone and i'll also provide the complete ingredients list in the description box for those who want to check it out both of these sunscreens are fragrance free and also contain bioderma's patented cellular bioprotection complex which activates skin's natural defenses towards uv rays
none of these sunscreens or in fact any bioderma sunscreen has ever caused me any kind of tingling or stinging in the eye even though i do a lot of times use more way more than required the required amount the Photoderm Max cream is definitely more thicker and takes more time to absorb in comparison to the Aqua Fluid version. Now I'm going to apply both of these on my face. On this side of my face, I will use the Photoderm Max cream, and on this side, I will use the Max Aqua Fluid. And I'm also going to use a measuring spoon for that. Shooting the whole application because i want you to get the idea of what this actually looks like i have not taken all of it at once i like to use my sunscreen in layers in this way it absorbs better and also does not leave a white cast even if you are using a very thick sunscreen you have to make sure you also apply it on the eyelids because this is the area i used to miss a lot it is i mean the photoda max cream i have even before buying the max cream i had read a lot of reviews which said that it leaves a very visible white cast that just doesn't fade away i think what they do is apply all of it at once which makes it harder to spread and also absorb because this is quite a thick sunscreen and as you can see i do apply a lot of sunscreen <laughs> i do use a lot of it and sometimes my eyebrows get covered to the extent that they just look white I mean it's more difficult to blend the sunscreen in my opinion if especially if you don't if on especially on the area where i have hairs like this or on my eyebrows i hope that this live application uh, or i mean i it is actually helpful for some people because i have seen a lot of people to just use a tiny amount and say that this is not that so and so sunscreen does not leave a white cast and a lot of the times the videos aren't really helpful whether uh, and i can't make a decision whether i want to buy the particular sunscreen or not so i thought i will share a video of my whole application and as you can see it does take a lot of time but uh, i think if it was any other sunscreen that took so much time i would have probably stopped using it <laughs> i would have also used it over here i would have probably stopped using it but this sunscreen by bioderma is such a holy grail for me i i don't know something about it just clears my skin instantly uh, not sorry not instantly but something about bioderma sunscreens is that i do not get much acne whenever i am using bioderma sunscreens 
and my skin just behaves better and as you can see i do have quite a problematic skin because it's very hard to find fragrance free skin care that you will love so i'm actually thankful that my skin is not extremely sensitive to fragrance although i do break out because of some certain essential oils or certain products that have fragrance i think now i will just let it be and let it settle down now i will use the aqua fluid on this side of my face also whenever you use the aqua fluid make sure you open it upside down and not like this because it's very fluid and it leaks every time if you open it like this downwards i think this demonstration will also show how easier the aqua fluid is to blend in comparison with the photoda max cream i think the photoda max cream provides very good protection even the aqua fluid part the aqua fluid is superior when it comes to saving your time i know aqua fluid is not the best when it comes to being cosmetic a uh, cosmetically elegant sunscreen but among the high pp sunscreens the aqua fluid range by bagrama whether it be tinted versions or non tinted versions the aqua fluid i think range by bagrama absorbs very very fast as compared to many sunscreens and yes also the cetaphil defoliant lotion that one also has a ppd of 35 but absorbs quite easily after uh, application the liposomal one leaves looks more oily when compared to aqua fluid this is how it looks right after applying these sunscreens and this is after i have used some loose powder and it definitely helps with the oily sheen that sunscreens leave behind loose powder i have used today is the lakme rose powder i have used salt water in this clip and this sunscreen both of these are very water resistant and does not come off even after rubbing the aqua fluid version is very lightweight and has never left any sort of white cast on me i have seen a lot of people complain that the photoda max cream has left uh, a very heavy white cast on them especially when you apply the required amount But personally for me even with the photoda max cream i have not experienced any kind of white cast the key here is to apply the sunscreen in layers so even if it leaves a very slight white cast sometimes it just fades away after 5 or 6 minutes they definitely look oily but not greasy i actually prefer the dewy and oily finishes as compared to the matte finish but if you are someone who uh, prefers the matte finish you can apply some loose powder on top the loose powders i usually prefer are in its free no sebum pore blur and the maybelline fit me loose powder both of them work fabulously on oil control but also make sure that you do not apply the loose powder right after using your sunscreen but wait for 15 to 20 minutes let your sunscreen settle down and then apply the loose powder so that the loose powder that you apply doesn't disturb the sunscreen layer on top of your skin because for a sunscreen to be truly effective and provide the label sun protection it is not just important to apply the required amount but also uh, that it forms an even layer i know that these are not the best sunscreens when it comes to cosmetic elegance but these are definitely one of the best when it comes to sun protection 
even though sunscreen is supposed to be reapplied after every two to three hours of continuous sun exposure i have used the bioderma sunscreens on the days when i was directly exposed to the uv rays for literally a whole day and i didn't even have any time to reapply my sunscreens but i didn't tan at all I'm also going to review the tinted versions, both the darker and the lighter version of Aqua Fluid very soon on my channel. So stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make videos on any specific topic or any specific product. Thank you so much for watching.